Well, hey there, folks, and welcome to Bubba Round Tree Outdoors. I'm your host, Wade Rush. Today, I have got a really cool made in the USA product that I want to show you. If you like old nostalgic type stuff like the old Lee Loader, as I do, and I've had to work with them over the years, that's what my dad, what Captain Buster grew up loading with for his 16 gauge. Well, we're going to take a look at a great one that is being made right now in the USA. The 10 ring. Y'all stand by. I'm not kidding. The 10 ring, Barry over at the 10 ring puts together. This is the best survival loader as compared to the old Lee loader as I've ever looked at or ever messed with. All right, folks, I'm gonna take you inside and let's do the unboxing and see what Barry puts in this kit for you. I was, I was so dang anxious. I was sitting down to play around with it. Um, all you need is your, a plastic or a leather hammer. You don't want to use a metal one. Now this has got a metal side. This is a dead blow, but it's got the Teflon on the other side. This is from Harbor, Harbor Freight. This thing ain't six or eight bucks, Harbor Freight. And it's got, comes in a kit. These, you've got several different types of ends of plastic uh, that aren't metal ends. You don't want to use a metal hammer on this kit. Wanted to tell you guys that right out of the gate. But really, that's all you need right there in this kit. Well, let's see what uh, what Barry has in this kit. This is the Deluxe Survival Kit. Oh, you got instructions in color. Look at that. Survival Loader, 12 gauge, intended for emergency reloading. This is a survival kit, fellas. This is not... This, uh, although you can use it as a setup on your bench, and I do it all the time. I've loaded bunches of the, of the 20 gauge, and they look just like they come off of my press, and I'm not, uh, I'm not exaggerating. Once you practice enough, you can get it, uh, you can get it dialed in. Two and three quarter inch or three inch shells here. Like I said, the instructions are all, all in color. All right. Well, we got our instructions here. All right, we got our base block. Let's get this up out of here. It's wrapped up real nice. Got a base block. He sent some uh, some wide material. I think that's like some foam over undershot card stuff like that. That's what he uses it for. He sent it to me in this kit. Uh, to uh, I think he sends a sheet to everybody just to see if you like it. You can get it at Walmart at the craft department. Your size and die and resize and die. Looks like the plunger is inside. It is. Like a crimp finisher, plunger, all that. Right now we're just gonna see what comes in this kit. All right, we've got our block, other accessories, uh, resizing tube, plunger. Here we got our decapping pin. Decapping rod, should say here. Uh, I requested the uh, Mech Spindex starters. I think that he gives you a choice now. The uh, 20 gauge came with the Hornady Spindex starters. The Hornady, I'll show you a picture here. The Hornady Spindex starter has got a little hump right here on the back. And that's pretty uncomfortable whenever you're having to use your hand to press to start these crimps. The Mech Spindex starters, see, they're flat. They're real easy to press. They won't hurt your hand. Now this is absolutely cool right here, guys. You know what that is? That is a swaging die. You know when you get those flared crimps with your tabletop loaders, like your survival loaders and all that? Well, Barry has included a swaging die in here. When you get those flares on the end, makes it tough to go on auto loader or pump. You just press the swaging die I'll demonstrate this here in a little bit. And it rounds it up just like a swaging die does on your 650 presses that has the taper crimp. This is the same principle. 
exact same principle and he includes that in this kit how about that and he likes to pre-weigh out several of his powder charges or shot charges and all that and so he includes these little vials and also a little funnel which is all really cool stuff and stuff that you never would see in the uh, the old Lee kit how about that let's move on awesome huh and aside well you guys know me I mean aside from game loads you know I'm a buckshot guy and I've got both the 12 and the 20 gauge here and you know I'm gonna give you my what my rendition of being out in the woods or survival is uh, you know Dave Canterbury he, he de demonstrates this survival loading stuff he's on a stump out there in the middle of the wilderness on his property well I'm out here next to the to the hatching barn out here by, beside the chickens in the backyard that's my survival demo okay well my might be able to hear it my lead pots have heated up they're over here dripping which means that where I'm set up here to video for you guys it's probably gonna start hooping hot lead on me so hang on let me get that fixed okay Wade what would your survival kit look like now it may look strange to some of you guys but in my my range bag all of this is easy to get in there so why wouldn't I put this in my range bag can I go traditional with all with a lot of this stuff like using the elite dippers and all that <laughs> loud mouth but I got got us a bag of wads here Gwalandi super mine the 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 little green wad from Gwalandi a few CB 1138 wads those are the only two wads I need for 12 gauge uh, but I got 12 and 20 right here so uh, we just need a an array of holes or whatever holes we may have already fired and all that I need a shot size that's gonna work both in 12 and 20 okay miles uh, anyway off track a powder a powder that will work with both 12 and 20 in buckshot loads herco yeah herco powder uh, we're gonna have chicken soup tonight a shot size a buckshot size that works great in both 12 and 20 gauge 285 number two and a half work like a dream in both 12 and 20 gauge yeah, that's a that's an EGO digital scale. Look at the size of that thing, boys. That thing is the bomb. Twenty dollars on Amazon for this little digital scale, and it is right on the money. So yes, even being out in the field why not use my little digital scale heck I could put that in my pocket so that's just instead of having to use the scoops I mean I like modern stuff I like technology why not so I've added a digital scale to my survival uh, deal because it's easily put in the game bag with all this other stuff once fired Rio once fired Fiocchi great buckshot holes just go ahead and decap both of them since I'm going to load both of them alrighty now the fun part when I start resizing this thing and hammering on it boys the birds the birds go crazy and so I have to mute it that's why the sound goes out and I'll play something else
we need six fold crimp starter. Like I said, I like using the resizing tube. Keeps my hands from getting hurt. Usually these thin walled holes, they start pretty good. All right. If you were going to add buffer to your load, fellas, that's that was the time to do it then, but I'm not. We're keeping this just as simple as we can keep it. You become the press now. That looks good. Looks just like factory. A little swaging ring that he has here, just to make sure. That it will run well in your pump guns or your auto loaders. 12 pellets of what would be considered number one buck. Vioki. The Rio works just as good. I'm gonna put one together and show you how, how it looks. The Rios are some of the best hulls to load with these little kits in the 20 gauge. Well, also in the 12, but especially in the 20 gauge. Using the, uh, you're going to need Rio primers or Nobel Sport to go back with the Rio. Now, if you wanted to, these are, the Rio and Nobel Sport are two of the biggest primers on the market. So they will fit anything that you're loading. They're going to fit really tight in the American hulls and all that. But if you start using Rio primers, you will have to continue using Rio or Nobel Sport unless you swage the primer pocket back to uh, to a smaller size. I believe there are videos on YouTube on how so, or there are simple ways to swage that primer pocket. I've just never attempted it. So right now, if you're using a Rio, going to reload Rio, you need to have some Rio or Nobel Sport primers.
in the gun club, like Nitro Gold, all these, and even some of the Federal, I prefer the uh, CB1138 red wide in, uh, in these rounds. These wads are designed for more of a tapered hull. They work in just about everything, but they were designed for more of a tapered type hull. Get that seated all the way down. <clears throat> all right, same buckshot size. Stack 16, 16, 285 cal. Stack in here by fours. We need our eight fold with the gun club. These are flat on top. They're not so hard on your hand. That's perfect. Knurl side down. And then our crimp finishing plunger here. So that first little bit always goes real easy. Scale off now. That's become the press. That felt pretty good. That looks good. We get the same swaging tool. The side with the lines on it goes toward the brass. And I just press it on just like the 20 gauge. Do the same thing. Absolutely beautiful. 16 pellets, a two and a half, number two and a half buck, or you could just call that number ones. A 16 pellet number one load right there all right well i've had some folks were wondering how will it do we got a i got a brand new rio here let's see how it does if you happen to have a bag of brand new hulls that you took down to the range or just took into the woods with you let's see how it does on a new hull with a brand new primed hull you get to bypass all the other stuff until the next time you want to shoot it so And the reason the scale jumping around like that, fellas, is there's a little bit of a breeze blowing out here, and that will happen with your digital scale. And still probably didn't have to get any more, but we're going to call that 24.1. We're going to call that good. Gualande Supermane, the little green wad. I use these in everything, anything. They work great here. You get that mashed down on, uh, on our powder here. All right, now in these wads, we got to stack by threes. Get 18 in here. Get 18 in there. We get two more pellets in the new. And these these holes, the Rio holes, have more capacity. I'm going to crimp this with the six fold. Looks excellent. All right, I'm going to call that good. Hear that first bump?
looks good. Let's get our little swaging tool right here. Eighteen pellets. Eighteen pellets of 285 here in this round. 24 oh per cup. Okay, boys, 10 ring loader survival kit. This thing is awesome.